Hi, I am Shravya Manipalli, presenting you my term paper, Myth vs. Math. What is a myth I am talking about? Here, myth means astrology and numerology. What is astrology? Astrology, in its broadest sense, is a search for a meaning in the sky. And what is the sky of? Sky is totally full of stars, and all these stars are divided into 12 equal segments or zodiac. What about numerology? Numerology is something like astrology, but it has a paranormal meaning of numbers. And what are the numbers? Here we are talking about two numbers, one being life path number and the other destiny number. For example, let's take date of birth of Sachin Tendulkar into consideration, which is April 24th, 1973. If we add all the digits of, this, of his date of birth, we get his life path number and which is 3, and if we add just his date of birth, we get his destiny number, which is 2 plus 4, 6. So, let's talk about the myths. So, what is the myth here I'm talking about? According to us, we have a preconceived notion that if one is of, if a person is of a, a particular zodiac sign, he's supposed to do this, and he's, he's going to be good at this. Like, people of, people who are of fire signs, are natural leaders and earth signs are practical and grounded and air signs are thinkers of the zodiac and the same goes with the water sign which is given. So these are this is one of the myth which we have right now which is considered now. And what about numerology? In numerology the myth is that we think we can get have a lucky name, we can go for a business numerology like given here and we consult people like who, who are shown that, so that we can uh, get a better life with a better career. So this is also one of the myths. Now let's talk about the math, which I'm going to present you. Here, what I did is I collected data of all the famous people from four different professions. And these professions are the basic fields which we can divide a particular profession into, like a creative field, a, a field which has a lot of public relations, a field with technical expertise, and a field with physical, which has physical fitness. So let let me consider uh, these and then uh, talk about how much this data, the the empirical data, relate to the astrological or predicted data. Here, the hap the hypothesis we have right now is. People with astrological signs of Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Pisces, and with their life path number or destiny number being 3 or 9, are going to be created medical signs. This is what our hypothesis, that is our myth, says. So let us debunk the myth or support the myth with our data and the analysis of the data. So the process with which I did all this is by collecting the data, and then I can explain you the issues which I had with the data. And then I analyzed it and came into a conclusion about the myth was right or the math which I did. And I further went with an analysis of having an association model uh, of the life path number and this number resulting in a zodiac or a profession. And then I went with the clustering, predictive modeling, and I saw a few interesting observations too. Now, the data collection. I collected around 100 people from each profession, that which forms like 400 uh, or 39, uh, like around, around 400 data. And they are nothing but the normal attributes which we have in general, like place of birth, date of birth, name, profession, occupation, and gender. I entered Zodiac uh, for every person, and I calculated destiny number and life path number for every person. So all these attributes form my data right now. And few of the problems that I encountered, encountered during these are the date format of the Excel would not take up any date below, before 1900. So I had to use macros to do that so, so that you would be aware of it. And I had to do a lot of compromises on the kind of data I wanted because I there are few professions which only showed male set and I wanted female people in that but I couldn't get it so I had to go for a lot of compromises uh, during this which finally affected to an extent the result set 
and the bi tool which i used is rapid miner and this uh, i had few problems with it and excel being sync being in sync so uh, and regarding let's start my math and which is nothing but the analysis which i did so here are the uh, astrological signs for every profession which actually had more than 1/12th of the share of the data that is which is not equal to any normal sign and it uh, so that i can get whether these signs are in large and in large number are in large number or not in my data so i concluded that for uh, uh, i had all these uh, in a table in the next slide so i concluded that for medical science the hypo uh, as the hypothesis is the result was also same, similar which is quite good and the same thing happened with media entertainment and media entertainment but when you look at sports and writing skills there are a little couple of zodiac signs which didn't match but on the whole this looked a really good analysis and astrology seems to be pretty good what about numerology so here for the numerology i did the same and these are the few numbers which are which came into the which had a good share in the data and if i look at the numbers and the hypothesis uh, for medical science and sports and writing skills this looks like a totally uh, a totally different set of data the hypothesis and result just for the media entertainment this looked pretty good because 1 and 3 are both there but still it says that it shows that numerology is the myth numerology had uh, was pretty uh, was bad so we can conclude that astrological myths uh, can be acceptable but numerological one according to my data seems to be a myth as of now so uh, and if we look at the association modeling which i've done uh, i there are three rules which i've obtained finally which are nothing but uh, uh, the if a life path number is 1 and a decimal number is 4 then you would definitely go get a profession of medical science which is a pretty good which is a really good observation according to me and the same thing with destiny number 2 and 3 and 9 and 5 uh, so you can look at the excel data also here if we have the zodiac attribute also as part of uh, the association rule then we can get into conclusion uh, if you look at the last association rule which is nothing but when life path number is 5 and this number is 7 and zodiac is gemini you always have a profession writer so if you are one of them then you would definitely have a chance of being a writer i also performed clustering uh, with five clusters and it resulted in the whole data get uh, being divided into five clusters as shown i've uh, used a destiny tree and a neural network and neural network seemed to be pretty good uh, gave me good accuracy with uh, uh, as shown here and this is nothing but when uh, a profession of a new record how how good is it predicted that is given here and the one of the few interesting observations is that uh, there are these 11 de- dates which are very common in the data which i collected like jan 27th appeared like five times and october 29th appeared five times and th- which means that people have are really famous with these uh, names uh, with these uh, dates and there is a possibility of picking this date was 1 by 365 but uh it so that's the reason uh, i found this as one of the good obse- interesting observations and finally we can conclude that uh, as this analysis was based on only famous people uh, so we can actually calculate make this uh, to a common man and also try this because uh, we concluded that numerology is a myth but astrology is was pretty good with my data so maybe if i if we Uh, proceed this with the common man's profession and interest we can come into a, a total conclusion that's it thank you